The red-eared turtle, able to live in water, but with pleasure moving on land, is increasingly becoming an inhabitant of domestic terrariums. This pet is quite unpretentious. But in order for its keeping to be simple and comfortable, it is necessary to know about the features and habits of this amphibian. Description. Red-eared or yellow-bellied turtles belong to the American freshwater family. The first mention of it was discovered by scientists in the Chronicles of Peru dating back to the middle of the 16th century. The author of the treatise calls this amphibian Acadias and compares it with the Galapagos species. The sizes of all species of red-eared turtles are in a rather wide range, from 21 to 60 centimeters. The horny carapace with a bone base, carapace, is covered with wrinkles and its color changes from light green, gray or yellowish to almost black with age. There are two spots behind the turtle's eyes. In some varieties they are dark, in others yellow or red. The head may have reddish or yellowish lines or patterns. The bony abdomen is predominantly bright yellow, with dark markings. Individuals grow very unevenly. In the first 18 months of life, they reach 7.5 to 8 cm, then the rate slows down and is limited to 1.5 cm per year. But this family of freshwater is definitely not a dwarf. The size of some specimens, even by the age of 2 years, is more than 20 cm. The red-eared turtle has practically no voice, but it still emits some sounds, it can hiss or snort when excited or squeak with pleasure. Hearing is also very poorly developed. But the sense of smell and sight allow you to react to the slightest stimuli and quickly swim away at the slightest sign of danger. This amphibian family lives for a long time, although the duration of the lifespan varies greatly depending on the species, from 30 to 80 years. On average, this is 45 years. Natural habitat. It is wide enough. The red-eared turtle can be found in many areas of the United States of America, Virginia, Florida, Oklahoma, Kansas, New Mexico, Arizona, North and South Carolina, Georgia, Alabama, Louisiana, Mississippi, Indiana, Illinois, Kentucky. In addition, this amphibian lives in Mexico, Colombia, Venezuela, and many other countries of Central and South America. Currently, the yellow-bellied turtle is widely spread throughout the world. It can be found in Guadeloupe, Israel, Singapore, Vietnam, South Africa, Japan, Thailand, Malaysia, Hawaii, even in some European countries, such as Spain and England. In Australia, the red-eared turtle is considered a pest, as it actively eradicates the native flora. Subspecies. Thirteen subspecies of the red-eared turtle are classified, but the most famous and widespread are only three of them, Florida red-eared slider. The dimensions of this main species, another name elegant, reach 30 cm, the narrow stripe behind the eye is reddish. All yellow abdominal plates have bright dark spots. Yellow-bellied slider. He has a plastron, abdominal carapace, of a more oval shape, the plates are dark, with yellow spots and the same line along the edges. Trusty or Cumberland species. This is the smallest red-eared turtle, its maximum size is 21 cm. The stripe behind the eyes is usually yellowish and narrow, and on the chin it is wide. On the carapace, there are patterns that resemble a scattering of black dots or peculiar eyes. There are also interspecific hybrids. Maintenance and care. Taking care of an amphibian pet is not difficult at all if you properly equip a red-eared turtle aquarium. For a small young individual, carapace length up to 20 cm, an aquarium with a volume of 60 liters is sufficient, and for a couple of adults, at least 130 liters. The aquatorium must be properly equipped. To do this, you will need a special heater, filters, a water thermometer, and a platform that simulates the shore. Lighting is created by an incandescent lamp with a power of at least 60 watts and a special ultraviolet device. The temperature requirements must be met, 21 to 25 degrees Celsius of water and 30 to 35 degrees Celsius at the shore site. Sometimes it is possible to achieve these conditions naturally, but more often a special water aquarium heater is required. The terrarium needs constant cleaning, as there is a lot of waste from red-eared turtles. If an internal filter is suitable for young individuals, then adults need external devices. They usually have to be flushed and the water in the tank changed weekly. The imitation of the shore should have a rough surface and an inclined part along which the turtles can easily get out of the water onto it. It is usually made of clear plastic or plexiglass. In one aquatorium, it is recommended to keep amphibians of approximately the same age and size. Often, for convenience, the owners place pieces of foam on the surface of the water. Many pets like to swing under the lamp on the surface of the water. You should not keep them together with fish. If the turtles are hungry, they can easily eat other inhabitants of the aquarium, even their weak, young or sick counterparts. The height of the walls of the terrarium should be sufficient to prevent pets from jumping out and falling out, at least 30 to 35 centimeters. Pets can be injured if they fall. 
If they creep and hide in secluded corners, they suffer from dehydration and hunger there. Turtles are not at all slow creatures, as it is commonly believed, they are very fast able to move both in water and on land. However, other pets can easily attack and injure the red-eared turtles on the floor. There are many cases when they were bitten by large dogs. In this regard, it is necessary to provide high sides to prevent the loss of pets from the water or from the coastal island. And any walks around the house should be carried out only under the supervision of the owner or other household members. Feeding. Red-eared turtles are omnivorous and gluttonous. Protein can be provided in their diet by using the following foods, bloodworms, both frozen and fresh. Just rinse it thoroughly with running water. Raw meat, it must be washed and cut into small pieces. Beef, veal, poultry will do. Fat and pork should be excluded. You can also use this product boiled. Saltwater fish should be fed with bones, an additional source of calcium. The esophagus of turtles is designed in such a way that they simply cannot choke. Avoid giving too fatty varieties such as cod or capelin. Other seafood. Gambrous, snails, river crustaceans. Ready-made pelleted feed for turtles, for example, from beefer, terror world, turtles. But the diet must be varied with plant foods, especially as the pets grow older. These can be algae, aquatic plants, cabbage leaves, lettuce, pieces of carrots, apples, and other fruits and vegetables. You should regularly give ready-made pelleted food for turtles, not only for the purpose of replenishing with protein food, because it contains all the necessary vitamins, micro and macro elements. As for the frequency of feeding, it depends on many parameters, age, size, activity of pets. Until a year, all individuals should be fed daily, giving preference to ready-made and protein foods, adding vegetables and fruits once a week. Adults can be fed in a day or two, but plant food is allowed to be given every day. In the diet of turtles, especially recently hatched ones, the amount of protein food should be more than half of the diet, therefore meat, bloodworms or gamrus must be added to the pelleted food. You can also give small eye fish such as guppies or crushed earthworms. For adults, ready-made food is given no more than a quarter of the diet, giving preference to vegetables and fruits. It is not necessary to cut the food for adult pets into small pieces. Red-eared turtles have very sharp claws, with which they actively tear apart food. The main thing is never to cut them. Lack of calcium. Softening of shells, plastron and carapace, general lethargy, weakness of the limbs, lack of appetite, these are symptoms of calcium deficiency. If the process has gone far, then the pet cannot be saved. In the initial stage of the disease, increased radiation under an ultraviolet lamp and calcium injections help. Walking. Outdoor sunbathing should be done correctly. Red-eared turtles should not be taken out and exposed in the sun in a closed plastic container or basin, as there is a high probability of overheating, sun and heat stroke, dehydration. As a prophylaxis against fungal infection, you can wipe the shells from time to time. After bathing, you should put the pet under an ultraviolet lamp to completely dry and warm up. How to distinguish between a female and a male. Male red-eared turtles are much smaller than female ones. In addition, they are distinguished by the length of the claws, plastron and tail. Males are much more active, quickly move on land and in water. They love to bite whatever comes their way. The plastron of females is even, and males it is concave in the caudal region, since when mating, the male perches on the female. In this case, a special notch covers the shell of the female, and the genitals of the individuals are in direct contact. To determine sex by claws, you must also have sufficient experience with these amphibians. In males, they are more elongated and curved at the ends. The fingers themselves are longer. The tails of females are rectangular or rounded, while in males there is a triangle. It is believed that females have flatter and more elongated heads, rather rectangular in shape. And the skull of males is slightly pointed. It should be borne in mind that outwardly determining the sex of a red-eared turtle is quite easy only in those specimens that are at least 7 to 8 years old. Since they are formed for a long time and are very similar. At a young age, all these signs can only be additional factors. Many specialists can determine the sex by touch, inserting a finger under the plastron and gently probing the reproductive organs. Hibernation. In their natural habitat, these amphibians spend all year round at temperatures above plus 35 degrees Celsius. In these latitudes they are always active and do not need hibernation. Unfavorable conditions force the pet to hibernate, since lowering the ambient temperature to plus 10 degrees Celsius is critical for life, even the room environment familiar to people is not suitable for these amphibians in terms of heat level. Hibernation of the turtle is not a prerequisite, the animal does not need it. Any spontaneous falling asleep of a terrarium pet speaks of unfavorable conditions of its keeping.
In order to properly organize the hibernation of red-eared turtles and promptly remove pets from it, you must have extensive experience in caring for amphibians. In nature, any turtles fall asleep, burrowing in dry foliage, coastal silt. They sleep at the bottom of a shallow reservoir. All life processes slow down, they breathe very little, they have enough oxygen left in their mouth, throat, cloaca. It is important that oxygen is contained in the water itself, which should not be too cold. In most ponds, it is impossible to create such conditions. But isolated cases of survival of red-eared turtles after hibernation in the middle lane are found. Acquisition tips. It is advisable to buy red-eared turtles in early spring. Ahead will be the summer period, during which it is easy to adapt babies to new conditions, to provide them with walks and ultraviolet saturation. Autumn amphibians tend to adapt less well and grow more slowly. Possible development of pathologies, autumnosis, rickets, pneumonia. It is necessary to choose a healthy individual. The shells must be firm, free of chips or signs of deformation. Cracks and spots on the head and skin are unacceptable. Signs of dehydration are closed or sunken eyes. This is also worth paying attention to. Whitish plaque and neoplasms are unacceptable in the mouth. There should be no wounds or traces of trauma on any part of the body. It is unlikely that it will be possible to determine the sex of young turtles on their own, but if this question is important, then you can pay attention to the claws, tail and notch on the plastron. Interesting facts. Red-eared turtles breathe atmospheric air, therefore they are always forced to rise to the surface of the reservoir. Amphibian reptiles will sooner or later eat any fish if you try to keep them together. The sex of the red-eared turtle is formed after fertilization and depends on the conditions of development. Up to 27 degrees Celsius males hatch, above plus 30 degrees Celsius, only females. In the range of plus 27 plus 29 degrees Celsius, or with frequent temperature changes, both males and females can hatch. There is a strange formation on the edge of the red-eared turtle's plastron, this is the trace of the yolk sac, which served as a food source for the embryo. Fishermen are especially looking for clutches of red-eared turtle's eggs, as they are excellent bait for schools of large fish. In the Mississippi River Valley, small turtles are massively caught and handed over to pet stores. This is a legitimate business. But the population does not suffer from this, so a lot of these amphibians are born. Wild turtles are quite aggressive, they can bite a person painfully. But home copies are patient with household members. Although scientists believe that these amphibians are not able to distinguish many sounds or get used to people, they sometimes demonstrate miracles of training. Price. Red-eared sliders, one of the most common pet turtles, can be found for as little as $20 in pet stores, while some types can be purchased from breeders at a much higher cost point one. 